Welcome to Children's Time. I'm glad that you're with us today. It's Mother's Day weekend, and if you are like me, you're preparing to give your mom something special. Now, sometimes you can put together a homemade card like this one says, I love you, mom. Sometimes you can do a bookmark or you could read her a story, spend time with her. All of those kinds of things are meaningful to moms. But do you know what is a secret power that you can do for your mom? When she says do something, you do it. That is a great way to show honor to your mom. So when she says, it's time to do chores, you say, okay, mom. Now, even though you may not love chores, it is a wonderful thing to have the attitude of helpfulness. And moms love that attitude. Instead of complaining and, and being grumpy, you, know, you choose to have a sweet spirit. And you can control that inside, even though you can choose to be grumpy or you can choose to be kind. So you can use your words to encourage your mom. And you can say, thank you for making supper. Thank you for making my lunch. Thank you for taking me to the sporting event that I wanted to do. All of those kinds of things have a sweet spirit and moms love seeing that in their kids. Now, when you follow on things that she says are important, sometimes you may not understand why she's asking you to do it. Why does it matter if you put away your clothes or just leave them out? Why does it matter if you do your homework on time? Well, you have to trust that your mom knows more than you do about some things. And sometimes you just do the right thing without questioning her. I know some kids use questions of why do I have to do that? Why does it matter? So that they don't have to do it. And if they get grumbly long enough, they hope that mom will just say, fine, I'll just do it. But that isn't pleasing or honoring to your mom. So make a point to honor your mom with your words, with your attitude, and with your actions. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for our kids. Thank you that each of them have a mom. I pray a blessing over all the mothers and grandmothers, those who are raising children. Would you give them sweet joy in this hard job? We thank you for the, the gift of our kids. We pray that you will bless all families for Jesus' sake. Amen. Thanks for joining us. I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless you all.